Hello Virgo! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. Supportive Oracle Cards. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. Um, you Are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. There we go. Uh, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I almost feel like it's, um, it reminds me of coffee in the sense of like, a lot of times when people start drinking coffee, it takes a little while for them to get used to it. And I think this might be one of those situations. It's kind of like, you know, acquiring the taste for the situation. <laughs> once you like it, though, you might learn to love it. Uh, once you give it a chance and start to like it, you might actually develop a love for it. Um, where are we starting here? Oh, at the beginning. But, like, what is over here? Okay, so you got the Six of Coins, but you got something else behind it, the Six of Wands. Which is telling me there's a lot of balance here. This makes sense for Virgo, in my opinion. They don't really, at least earth signs don't usually look for the free ride. They like to participate. It makes them feel secure. When they put in the effort and get the, get what they want out of putting in the effort, it makes them feel secure. And if, like, I am, I am successful because of my effort. They don't really, I don't think anyway, earth signs do well being ha things handed to them, like to a point. Like if something is handed to them, then they want to like show that reciprocation and keep it going. Um, so they, they, even if they're given like a, a giant inheritance, they still like to invest it and work through it and make sure it's going to last to make it, make the most out of it. So putting an effort to what you're getting is what, is what you're looking for. And it's what makes you feel like that really works. You're not looking for just a quick, I won. Uh, you're looking for like, I want to put in the effort and keep putting in the effort and get out what I put in. I want to be very prosperous, but I want my, my prosperity to be dependable and repetitive. Um, and the best way to do that is through my own efforts. You got the passion here. You're putting in a lot of effort, but you're getting out a lot of it. You got a lot of success, but it's the give and take balance. I put in a lot, I get out a lot. I put in a lot, I get out a lot. That's the six of pentacles. That's the give and take. You give in a lot, you get out a lot. You put in a lot, you get out a lot. It's like, it's kind of like, it's not really a charity card in my opinion. People sometimes look at it that way. I don't look at the Six of Coins as a charity. It's a balance card. Like you put in a lot of effort, you, all that effort you put in, you get out. Um, that's what I'm feeling with Pentacles. Um, especially Pentacles because they're Earth. Earth isn't just about just one-sided. It's give and take. It's like I put in to get out. It's investment. You got a lot of passion here for this because you're like, this is going great. This is how this is, should work. This is how this is supposed to work. You put in, would you get out? You get out, would you put in? That's how that should work. I feel like I'm going go on for days about it if I don't step away from it, so I'm going to let that go. The thing is, there's a lot of blessings in this situation. And I feel like somebody else that you're dealing with is making note of like all the hard work you're putting in, and they're liking it. And they're feeling like, you know, this is how this balance is. Blessings is kind of like the sun card there, the sun in the background. Automatic writing, eh, I'm... In this reading, I'm not really feeling that actual term. What I'm getting in the environment is more like somebody making notes and like realizing how well, you know, when you put in your effort, it's because you're putting in what you're getting out. That's what really motivates you. Everything you're putting in, you're, you want to get out what's fair. And that's, that's really what motivates you, and that is what's fair. It seems very simple, but that seems to be making a point there for a reason. Now... I'm getting like something is changing here. There's definitely a change here, but like it feels weird to me because the wheel of fortune turns on your side and there's a change. When this change comes in, you're, you're not about it. You got the warrior. So I think we're just going to pick this up and just we're just going to start with your cards and see what comes forward because there's a weird energy how this is matching because I'm getting the choices coming in afterwards, but you're seeing it come in the wheel is turning in the sense of like something is changing. That change is going to create a choice in the future, a very new, new future. When it first happens, though, you're fighting against it. You're like, oh, no, 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 I don't want a choice. 
Put it back. Put that back on the like. Put that back where you got it from. Don't don't be messing with my situation. I like my situation. What I put in is what I get out. I don't want to change that. I don't I don't want that to change. Don't be changing this. The wheel turns though, and things in the environment, like the situation changes. It just flat out changes. Um, new opportunities are coming in. Things have to be molded to. It's kind of like you know, we were making this great sauce with tomatoes. Season tomatoes went out of season. Now we got pumpkins okay can't make the same sauce with pumpkins so uh, now what are we gonna do um and you're like no 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 keep the tomatoes coming get them from somewhere else <laughs> i don't want to change what we're doing here you're fighting against it the warrior is telling me you're fighting against it the thing is you're very dependable and i feel like whoever's dealing with you dealing with you why are we saying it that way whoever's working with you now, why do we say dealing with you? That seems strange. Do, do they give you a hard time? They're going to give you a hard time. Um, but I feel like they're not really... Are they giving you a hard time? Because I feel like you're trying to keep things the way they were. And I feel like somebody else is looking at you like, well, it's too late. We moved on from that. It just seems like that's how they're reacting to you. Like, it's too late. We moved on from that. It seems very harsh. Why are they so harsh to you? The thing is, they like you. They like you a lot. They get the sun card and the love card. But the thing is, they're not, that's that's why they're giving you a hard time. And this is why the energy of, like, they're dealing with you is coming in. They're just kind of moving forward like you'll catch up. They're not really even, they're not dickering with you on it. They're not, they're kind of like, no, we, we can't get tomatoes anymore. It's over. And they're just moving forward. And you're just kind of like, no, no, I don't want that to happen. And they're just... They're just waiting for you to catch up. They've, they've already moved on. But the thing is, they got the sun card and the love card. They do care. They do like you. They're just kind of like, that's not a conversation to have. It's too late. Um, I think that that way we put that, it was harsh when we said dealing with you. And I think they're trying to give you a heads up. Like, this energy around you, that's how they're treating it. Like, it's just how, it's just, it's too late. There's nothing to work through. It's already done. Um... So they're just basically waiting for you to catch up. Like, oh, it seems rude. It does seem rude. So take it with a grain of salt. Readings are for to entertainment purposes only. And, you know, I don't know. I just feel like that's so harsh. It bothers me that that's how that's coming in. I'm like, oh, I don't like how that's coming in. They're at peace, though. They're literally just waiting for you to catch up. The choice is, like, you either, you're either going to continue with the situation or you're going to go on to something else. But when I feel your energy, it's kind of like, I don't want to go on to something else. I want to keep doing what we were doing because that was working well. I like that. I don't want to go on to something else. Like, Let's just keep what we had and it's too late. It's moved on. The Wheel of Fortune turned. I'm also getting the choice is yours to work with it or not work with it. The choice with the community. I feel like people want you to stay and they want you to keep going. It's just kind of like the wheel turned. You can either move with us or you can move on. It seems harsh. It really does. And you know what? I'm seeing these two cards on your side. Next, the Devil card with the Ace of Swords. you got to make your choice on what you're going to do. You're not going to like this because it was so good. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Like It was so good. I don't want to mess with it. But the wheel turned. The wheel turned and it's happened. The Devil card is telling me it's really hard because you're really attached to how it was. The Ace of Swords is being presented to you like, well, that's over. Here's, a, here's the, your new opportunity, take it or leave it. It's kind of like, we don't got tomatoes anymore. We have, uh, we have pumpkins. We're going to make something with those. You can either stay with us and be a part of that, or you can move on because we don't have tomatoes anymore. So it's up to you what you want to do. It still seems harsh to me. I apologize that it seems harsh, but it's, it's, like, it's really how it's coming through. And I feel like for those of you this is going to hit with, I feel like that's going to make sense. Like, no, that's how it is. That's how it feels. In the environment, people are just waiting for you to make your own decision. You have to make your decision. You're either in or you're out. They're very optimistic that the next situation will be very advantageous too. I'm getting this as something good for you. I would stick on to it. Stick with it. Go into this next phase. I feel like it's still going to have prosperity. It's just getting used to it. Um, the fool card with the high priestess is like they're not going to wait very long. It's kind of like the car is waiting for you outside. you got 10 minutes to decide if you're going or not. Kind of like that. So you got to kind of make your decision. If you kind of default out, then you're, you're choosing to not be a part of it. 
So you're still choosing. So like even defaulting out is choosing. Just keep that in mind. There's no hard feelings, no matter what you choose, is what I'm getting with the, uh, what is this, nature's, nature's journey. I don't have to say nature's bounty, but I don't feel like there's any hard feelings, no matter what way you choose. Be a part of it, don't be a part of it. Nobody seems to be holding it against you. I don't feel. But I'm getting it's more beneficial for you to stay connected with this group. I feel like this would really go well if you keep going in this energy. What I'm getting here, like the coffee analogy in the beginning, when you, if you do step forward in this situation, at first you're really not going to like it. You're going to have a hard time getting used to it. It's just not going to be what you want at first. But you've got to make that choice to move forward. The past is moving on. Whatever was going on before, before it has moved on. Like there's, It was very good. That's the Eight of Cups. It was very good, but it moved on. It has moved on. There's no getting back what already moved on. The wheel turned. It is over. It's either go forward with a new situation with this group of people or you're going to end up doing something else. And if you're going to have to move forward with something else anyway, you can't keep what you had, you might as well keep up with the same people. You just got to trust that this is going to work to your advantage. That's literally the trust card. I do feel like it's really good for those of you who do, but it's like coffee. It's like you got to get used to it again. Part of me feels the only thing that might draw you back with going into this next situation is like, how often are we going to do this where we do something for so long and then all of a sudden it's kind of like the wheel turns and we got to do something else. And then we do this for a while and then the wheel turns and we got to do something else. Like how often is that going to happen? I feel like this will help you make a better decision. Evaluate how often this type of situation happens. How often do you have to like drop it and go into something else? Because it seems like you're going into a situation or you're dealing with a group of people that they go into stuff with sh with a shelf life. There's It's only going to last for so long and then it's time to do something else. And then that's only going to last so long and then it's time to do something else. Ironically, you could get used to that. As long as you're more on point with like, all right, this is how this is going to be. It's going to go this way from a questionable amount of time and then we're going to have to tr do something else. If you can get become at peace with that and get to a moment of peace with that, I feel like this could be okay. But if it's one of those things where, you know, I don't like that. I don't like to where we only do this for so long and then we have to do something else and we do that for so long and we have to do something else. If you really don't like that, if that really bothers you, you might want to go off in a totally different direction. There is more prosperity going the same direction with these people. I keep saying these people. But I feel like it's going to always have a shelf life. It's only going to last so long. Think of like yogurt on the shelf. It only lasts so long. Even if you freeze it, but if you freeze it, you're not doing anything with it. Just, just say. I mean, not for nothing. But so it only lasts so long before it's going to expire and you're going to have to go into something else. If you can get at peace with it, again, there is repetitive prosperity here, but it's getting used to that type of changeover and being comfortable with it. If you can't, you might want to do something else. All right, I think we're there. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.